let's take a look at how you can install Hadoop on Windows so currently if I go to Apache Hadoop and click on download there is this option to download the binary for version 3.3.4 right so I can choose between 64 or binary which is regular one right so we'll choose the regular one and not arc 64 right so click on that now here you can see you can click on right so it's basically 663 MB of download we'll wait a few minutes to download it mine has been pretty good speed for now so I already have 100 MB downloaded so it's like five to six minutes to get there now meanwhile we will also need a few more things which is one is java right so you have jdk for windows available okay so as you can see you have installer for jdk which you can choose for jdk 18 right as you can see jdk 18 right next thing we will also be needing the scala right so go to scala lang and click on install right so for now what we will do is we will just uh, stick with the apache hadoop and java we will take a look at scala's part later when we install further packages so for now let's focus on java part meanwhile our download has reached its point as you can see it's there completed now what we can do is we have our download next thing we will be going for environment variables right so we'll type in environment and it should open system properties click on environment variables here we have to go for path right click at it and there you have gdk 11 which is minimum that you would need right so there is also gdk 17 i have so pretty much two options i have and then what i will do is i will also be uh, pointing a different directory for that hadoop right so now we have two important things done we will also see now that gdk pre-installed I need to see the version right so let's go back here we'll have to check the java version right so let's go for 3.34 documentation where you have java 11 which we already have as you can see right then we also have most of the things ready right so let's minimize Let's go to our PowerShell and type in Java, then double dash version. It should point us to JDK 11. Right? So we have the latest version good enough to run our setup. Right? Now, what we can do is go here and copy this particular path. Right? now let's go here and go for new then we type in java underscore home then variable and browse the directory from here as well right click ok we have java home now next thing is we will have to do few more things like moving our hadoop right so we'll try now keep it minimize right so we'll have it here to the right and then powershell here then our hadoop here right so what we can do is we'll have to extract this and right click if you have seven zip you can extract to this particular name hadoop 3.3.4 right and I'm going to move this to a location which is kind of 
easy to access and there are no permissions right as you can see here I will have to extract it again so it's kind of like two times section so there is a tar inside which there is also tar and this whole package is there right so I can extract to the location but unfortunately I managed to extract it a lot faster and doing it on desktop itself so let it go there considering it has a bit 1.6 GB of size and also there are too many files in the documentation so you will have to check that part right so let it extract Here you see, we have our Hadoop 3.3.4. I'm going to cut it, move to D drive, right? And now what I will do is, I will let it transfer. It may take a bit time. I already have Terra copy. So I may have to wait for it to transfer completely. Okay, now when we get all the data into this Hadoop directory we can move to etc folder then Hadoop here you will have to find few files like core site so core site XML right click and open with text editor and here we'll have to put on configuration so I already made one file with configuration return so in core side we'll be adding this particular property right so let's put on right configuration just select that paste it now here we added the property name fs default and localhost 9000 save this next thing we will have to edit hadoop env cmd so hadoop env cmd right click then open with or you can simply also use edit but i will try and uh, use drag and drop here because that's much easier that way right so hadoop env cmd so it will be opened in another tab right so here we'll have to do a few more changes as well right so here we have Hadoop ENV CMD where Java Home needs to be edited right so Java Home right so this is the Java Home right so we'll have to edit that part as well Right. if you have any longer path you will have to check your environment variables let me go there environment variables then you have your Java home right as you can see this is the Java home that you will have to check right so if you haven't done it make sure to add Java home there right then we'll have to also check the path and if we have the path to that particular location we are good to go right after that what we will have to do is we'll have to pick next file which is hdfs site xml so let's go there hdfs site xml 
right click open with edit pad and within this configuration we will add one more so HTFS site configuration is this right so let's put it here now a few things to change here is version which is 3.3.0 we'll have to change that right so the configuration has to be copy address as text then we will take it here and use 3.3.4 and then replace it here right and we will have to create these name node and data node folders as well so let's go there HTTPS, right and then we will have to create the data folder inside which we will have to get those as well so HD right so Hadoop data then inside that one more which is name node and then data node right we have two files so that configuration is done right now we can close this and we, we can close course site we can close right now one more thing is we'll have to check map red site right so we'll have to check that file etc hadoop then map red site and we cite it right then open with editor then we'll have to change this configuration as well save it now what we can do we have most of the configuration properly set one more remain is yarn site xml right so let's go there yarn site xml open with edit pad light right and then we'll have to get the configuration and paste it here make sure oh, there are no mistake re regarding the name and values right so now we have everything properly done right so if in case you have got this part not fixed up go there and change those files so that you can get it properly set up right uh, one more thing is uh, getting those uh, produce values within yarn right has to be yarn right so it's added so all of those things are done we'll have to change the powershell right we'll also have to close our environment variables right and then we will have to check the bean right then we will have to go to environment variables in the open right and then we will have to create a new then we type in hadoop underscore home right then give it a path click ok click ok right now i will open sp in folder right okay once everything is settled you will have to type in hadoop then name node and then format this needs to be done only once and not every time you run hadoop right once you do this you will have to switch to other tabs go to sp in folder and use dot then forward slash start that dfs.cmd also in another tab use dot then forward slash start dash yarn dot cmd right once you do that you will find a bunch of small command prompts opening showing you the status then within your browser simply type in localhost 9870 you will find your hadoop active there also one more thing can also check out localhost 8088 and forward slash cluster it will show you the available cluster 
and your name node active if you can see this you have Hadoop ready and installed okay so the changes that we made in various files within our Hadoop's folder like core side XML MapRidge side XML HDFS side and yarn side XML those snippets I have collected and I have added that within Bitbucket right so you can get that within link in the description as well okay now that we have run the Hadoop uh, in the background next thing is we are going to test whether we can create a directory within Hadoop file system so for that what we'll do is we will type in Hadoop then fs then dash mkdir and then forward slash input right make sure that this particular command prompt or powershell is open in administrative settings so you can see privilege right once you do that type in the command explained before hit enter right then we will see if it passes correctly if it gives you next prompt then we are ready to go now we can open now next thing would be to check within our and we can see our Hadoop is now active go to utilities right browse the file system right and here you see we have just added one input directory which you can access as well right if you can see the input directory that means everything is installed and set up 